Now here's the can lice that I installed previous and I put one over there too. So I got five total and as you remember, I only installed one light, okay? That way I only have to take one down. I gotta do a patch around there. I also gotta patch around a couple of these other ones. And ultimately when the painter gets here, we've gotta have all these, these light trims out of the way for them. They're, they're pretty easy to remove and everything. So I'm just gonna turn the light switch off. That's all you gotta do is turn the light switch off and the power is off to your can lights. Now I'm just gonna get up here and this is spring loaded on the sides. I'm just gonna kind of lift it on, move it on down, wiggle it back and forth. There's some little prongs on the back side of this can that fit up in there. And this one's designed, all you gotta do is unscrew it right here. That's all you gotta do. Kaboom. And it's off and I'm ready to do some patching around here. See, this is where the patch was before. I've got to go around that. I also have, what else do I have? See where those lines are? That's where the fluorescent surface mounted light fixtures were installed before because there used to be a suspended grid ceiling in this kitchen area. There was a trim piece that went across here and the, and the ceiling grid went down about, oh, I don't know, four inches, four or five inches from this existing sheetrock ceiling. Now we took that out to make the kitchen look a little bit bigger and we put in some lights up here. We're gonna paint this ceiling and brighten up this kitchen. Okay, so I've got, I've got a few little patches to do where the surface mounted screw holes were for the light fixtures. There's also a hole right there that I've got to do. That was a molly bolt that was holding up a, uh, an anchor from before. And there's another mark. Here's some around this light fixture. I'm going to have to patch around that. That's where the, the uh, junction box was from before. And this one here, see that's where the light fixture, the surface mount of light fixture went across there from before. And that's where the electrical came out of the ceiling. And because I put that can light in there, I've got to patch that hole over there too. So, you know, there's a few little patches and the screw holes. I like to get the screw hole, mounting screw holes taken care of too. And if you don't have a construction light, you've got to get one of those. I keep harping on that because it's just a good way to get all your stuff taken care of. You just shine that light up there and... Uh, you can just move it around and it brightens that up and I can see all the little imperfections on that ceiling because I've got these lights out of here now, right? If I did it with the light just turned off, let's turn this light off for a minute. You see, you might think, oh, I can take care of it. I can see everything, but, but it's, just, it's just not a good idea. Okay, you could do it. You could do it, but it's just so much better to have this light on here. You can see all the imperfections as you go. That light only cost me like $15. You can get them anywhere it's between $10, $10 and $20 at the hardware store. This is a 500 watt halogen bulb. You can get them 250 watt and 300 watt too. So just check it out. I chose the 500 and it only cost me a few dollars more than the 300 and it gives me that much more light. So get one of those.